Hello, my name is Tim Gerrard and I'm from Lavtronk. Today we're going to replace the cartridges in a Barnstead D2 system. It's a Megapure D2 system. There are three different types of cartridges. Today we're going to go with the high capacity cartridge, which is a D400 499LS. We're also going to put in the organic cartridge, which is a D440 265LS. There's also the third one, which is a D400 377LS. But today we're just going to put these two in. Whenever replacing the cartridges in a Megapure D2 system, you want to go ahead and disconnect the power source. So unplug it from the power source. And also disconnect your incoming water. The system is naturally going to be depressurized because this is going out to the fill side of a class or of a Megapure still. So that just goes ahead and depressurizes automatically so you don't have to worry about that part of it. Now that we have the system unplugged from the power source, we have it disconnected from our water source, it's automatically going to depressurize. We're going to want to go ahead and remove the cartridges. We're going to remove them both. This is the high capacity, the B cartridge. This is the organic, which is the O cartridge. You replace them both at the same time. To remove this, you simply turn this knob counterclockwise. Turn this down far enough to where you can get the cartridge to slide out from the top gasket. And then simply rotate that forward. You can remove that cartridge. Second one, do the same thing counterclockwise. Rotate that down far enough to where you get a gap that you can drop the cartridge out remove it. First thing you want to do, the system's already had the cartridges removed. I would also, when you get the cartridges, I'd also buy the, the O-rings, which are the 410-671LS O-rings. There's four of them in a pack. You basically go ahead and put the new O-rings in here, these gaskets down here. It's best to put new ones in there anytime you change these out. So when you get the new cartridge, you get your new O-rings in place, and that's simple. They're just going to set in the top and the bottom, each one of these. And then the top also has O-ring that sets up inside. You can usually pressure fit it up inside of here to get those to stay. Take your cartridge, open up your cartridge. You send the cartridge with, of course, uh, instructions and also cartridge on how to remove how to send the cartridge back for recycle so you want to keep those and just take the cartridge pull the bag up when you're ready go ahead and just slice the bag now you can grab the outside of this cartridge with your hands and you don't have to wear any gloves because the water is going to travel to the inside of the cartridge from from bottom to top. It's, a, it's an upflow configuration on both of these. The positions on this would be one and two. So the water goes through this one first and then through this one. So this cartridge, which is the high capacity, is going to go into this position. So position number two. You just simply take the top of it. It's upflow. So you take the top and the bottom. You set it so that you've got equal spacing around the gasket at the bottom. And get the top of it set in place so you've got an even amount on both of those and you just tighten that in place. You're going to take your second cartridge Move the cartridge from the bag. Pull the bag up when you're ready. Go ahead and just slice the bag. Now that we have the bag opened, we're going to remove the cartridge. And this is the D440 265LS, which is the organic cartridge. That goes into position number one. We've already put our new gaskets on the bottom and the top. We simply take this get the cartridge. It's an upflow configuration. So you put that 
so that the bottom of the cartridge is evenly spaced around the gasket. And then you turn the knob at the bottom to tighten it and then hold the top so that it has even spacing at the top of the gasket as well. You tighten that down, then you're going to turn on, plug the system into the outlet, turn on your water source, plug it into the water source, turn it on, and then you're going to want to hit the purge button because you want to flush water through this for about the first 10 or 15 minutes. Then you can pull this button back to normal and then your gauge is up here. High is green, low is red. Once this is flushed through, it should go green for you and stay green. This is your flow adjustment, so you want to adjust your flow through the system so that you have adequate enough flow feeding the boiler of the Megapure still, because this is what this is going to feed to, at a good rate without wasting a lot of water. So you just want a slow flow through this system and then into the still. And that's how you install the cartridges in a D2 system, a Barnstead Megapure D2 system. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.